Okay, guys, this is completely freestyle because I am just, I'm just so done, man. I had no idea. What are you guys talking about? The dumbest one I've seen so far is about passive play. They're saying that this is somehow going to promote passive play because dodging, you know, increasing this cooldown for dodging is going to make people too scared to go in or whatever because if they burn a dodge, they die. That's not even the case. If you mess up a dodge, you don't just instantly die. And if you're going to run away because you're scared to dodge, then how, how are you How are you going to run away, huh? It's, it's so much harder to run away if dodging is the thing you're avoiding right like it try to run away without using your dodge it's a lot easier for the enemy to catch you because they just they just need to throw an attack at you that's it so either you're attacking them now or you're just running away without your dodge either way you're just not really gonna work out for you okay you're not going to get away with running away without your dodge you're gonna have to use it here we have it. this test feature came out as it is right now it would undoubtedly ruin the game Scythe, Greatsword, Lance, Katars could all zero to death every 5 seconds. If you can't punish dodges now, you won't be able to punish dodges with the update either. Plenty of pros can play the game flawlessly without complaining about every single weapon being broken. Shorpy just has to constantly make excuses and blame everything on the game. Here we have someone who doesn't watch my videos and doesn't know anything that I say. I know I don't blame everything on the game. Clearly this guy does. I don't know what the hell Luke Joachim is doing. And by the way he's talking, I'm not even sure if he's exaggerating here. He's saying that Scythe, Greatsword, Lance, and the Katars could all zero to death everyone at zero to death every five seconds. I don't even know if you can respawn that fast. There's already been a lot of talk on it. Scythe, it seems that it's not as strong as what most people are thinking it is because uh, what happens is that not only is the grounded dodge cooldown longer, but the air dodge cooldown is shorter. Which means that there are still some strings actually that Scythe can end up not being able to do now while it could have done it before. So it's actually closing some options and opening other ones. It's not like everything is just suddenly broken. And like even if you do read a dodge, you don't just win the game. I hope people realize that just because you get a dodge doesn't mean they're, they're dead. They're not, they're not just dead. This is not like old school cannon. This is just getting a, a bit more damage, all right? And of course, what happens, what ends up happening is that when people get caught in combos like that, they start to panic and then they dodge badly again. And it's the chain of bad, uh, bad moves, bad dodges that will lead to your death, which is how fighting games should work. You should not lose because of one mistake. It should be uh, a buildup of multiple mistakes that slowly lead to your demise. That's how the game should work. But then again, there's also people who just say that the game is just going to get better instantly. We don't know that yet. We're still testing it right now. As I said, people are testing out the different weapons. We're seeing which weapons are actually getting better from this, which ones are benefiting more. There's, of course, lots of balance to have uh, have to be done. This is probably not even final. And there's clearly there uh, with the gravity cancel thing, Thor is being able to stall for a long time. So is Vector. Well, I don't, I don't really see how this stalling could really do anything, honestly. I feel like you, they, people can just hit you out of the sky. It's just kind of like, why is it in the game kind of thing, right? Not like it's just overpowered or whatever. But yeah, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure um, that should be in the game still. I don't think it will be released in Ranked or Esport. Too many players will have to change their gameplay as dodge is the most important thing in the neutral gameplay. That's true. If this is really released, then Brawlhalla will be totally different and the community doesn't like when there are huge modifications on something. Actually, that may not be the case in uh, this time around. I think I've heard many pros and veterans have talked about wanting um, a bigger change in Brawlhalla for a while now because people are saying it's getting stale and such. And we've also always had like, you know, these lingering problems that people have been thinking about. What this guy's saying here is that this would be the worst idea from BMG if they release it. Uh, some weapons will be broken. For example, Taros Ensig with Axe. Okay, well you said weapons will be broken, not Taros Ensig on Axe. Taros Ensig Axe will be undodgeable if he reads you. Well, I sure hope it's undodgeable if he reads you. <laughs> what? Like, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Scythe will be more bro Okay, so for, we already know this guy is just... He, this, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Brawlhalla is becoming more and more casual. How? If you can say one thing that's not stupid, I will I will applaud you. I'll give you a birthday cake and a cookie. Everybody in the comments being like, I can't wait to be able to do combos on people. Well, 
I, I don't know if you're instantly just gonna be able to do combos. Like I said, it's not like making just, it's not just gonna ma magically make everyone able to just combo out. It's just making it more plausible to do so. Because the thing is before, you have to get very, very precise reads, but you still have to position to punish. You still have to know how to punish. It's not like, oh my God, now that dodge is increased, I will just zero to death everyone. Aha, that, that's just how it works. No, no, it's, it's not. I hate this update. It kills the speed of play and it makes other insane stuff feel less insane to me. It makes the game too easy. I pray to God they don't permanently add this to the game because most of us would have to learn the game all over again. What is happening? Like, it, are you guys acting as if like the, the entire this is new Brawlhalla? The game is just not automatically beginner mode. It's not like this is this is not even final. Like, it's in test features for a reason. We are testing it. We're seeing what works, what doesn't, what we need to tweak. All right, that's what BMG is doing. It's okay, like, but here, this one I agree with. It makes other insane stuff feel less insane, of course. Because, you know, before, it was very rare for people to do incredibly crazy plays. Except the problem in Brawlhalla was that it was too rare. You just, you just, it just never happens. And the game gets boring because nothing's going on. As, you know, for like a spectator sport kind of thing. Yeah, so now people are gonna play more aggressive I feel like because now they're like oh shoot I can punish stuff harder now I should be more proactive about that I just, I, I mean I think Brawlhalla was still pretty cool before these test features but you're talking as if it was like the world's most entertaining fighting game man I actually prefer longer games well the games aren't necessarily just going to be shorter now all right people can still play farther back they don't have to constantly go in you know that's the point of like playing neutral right some people can play more defensively it's just that people aren't running away that's the concern that people were having people were running away and just not playing the game so now if they do that you can catch up to them and delete them but this does not mean everyone is just zero to, to deathing everyone over and over. That is not what's going to happen. It's cool, I guess, but I don't really like it because waiting a century for my dodge to come back is annoying. Is the only thing you do ground dodging? Is that is that the only dodge you do? A century? It's, it's not even that long. Come on, people are exaggerating so much. I really hope they don't add this. Spear is going to be meta and game is going to be even more passive. Is he saying this because I can do double delight Sarah on a grounded dodge? What? Spear is the easiest weapon in the game that rewards you for playing passive. And depends on the player like bruh. If they play Spear, they're already a loser. Like, have have you seen Axe? I thought I thought it was agreed that Axe was the easiest weapon in the game. How is Spear suddenly the easiest weapon in the game? You actually have to space when you play a Spear. Like, basically guys. This is test features. Please remember it. This stuff is in test features. It's here so we can test it. We need to see if it works or not. And this is not the final, you know, what it's gonna be like. We're not just like, hey, does this work? Oh no, okay, delete it. Nah, they can still tweak it around, okay? And things aren't just automatically broken. Don't just say, like, so people are saying guitars are broken again. We don't know that. We still need to try it out. And we already see that Scythe is not automatically broken because of dodge. And remember, grounded dodges have a longer cooldown. But air dodges have a shorter cooldown. Alright? They're the same cooldown, but they're changing in different ways. And, like, th the game is just not automatically easier because of this. I don't understand. The, the people who say that are the people who, do, who have no idea what they're talking about. And they're probably, like, silver. Because what they do is that they think on paper. They're just like, oh, well, if punishing grounded dodges is more effective, it must be the case that the game is now brain dead easy. The game's now boring. It's more casual. It's that all the weapons are broken. I don't know what what, what y'all are talking about. You guys need to, you guys need to stop with that. That is that is unbased, unbased gaming right here. Well, yeah, that's uh, that's enough. Um, completely trash talking my uh, my viewers. And um. <laughs>